So Aloha from my truck. It is nighttime, obviously. It's dark. Um, I'm trying to light myself up here with the dome lights, which are probably going to go out really quick. So uh, this is going to be a really quick video just to let you know that I'm doing okay, but I have a major change in plans. Um, because, and if I'm talking funny, it's because I have a mouth guard on. Because I brush my teeth and I need to wear that um, when I sleep because otherwise um, I tend to clench my teeth and crack my teeth so um, I could not find a place that would take my dogs whether it was a room for all of us to stay in or a dog sitter that didn't well okay there's plenty of dog sitters but I have to pay like at least $35 a night um, and looking to do that for a month that was going to cost me over $900 um, which is yeah a lot more than I really want to spend because um, even though I have the money um, it's just I have to consider all the other things that I need to pay this month and in the future and my income right now is um, kind of low so I really need to be careful and so I figure I have other options available um, one of the farms that I was looking to go to in Georgia I found out two things that well one I could bring my dogs if they stayed in my RV and they do allow me to park an RV there so I thought great I'll get my RV and bring it there with my dogs but then uh, found out that they required the vaccination for everybody um, and I still don't want to do the vaccination if you saw my other videos you know why basically Vaccination is for people with compromised immune system and I have a healthy immune system and if I take the vaccine it, it will weaken my immune system and I don't want to do that. So uh, I did ask them if they would take a negative COVID test like you know that's what I did with Samaritan's Purse like once a week took a test and um, they didn't want to do that so so that means that doors closed and um, that one's eliminated and I just need to continue looking um, still waiting to hear back from another one I found in Georgia called Jubilee um, left a message with them and so in the meanwhile I'm just gonna go get my trailer because I just see that that's just much easier even in the meanwhile I can um, stay with my dogs in the trailer in an RV park or someone's backyard or land and uh, although it's you know kind of crampy um, temporary will be fine and uh, you know I can rearrange things and when it's good weather just spend as much time as I can outside and just use it for sleeping, cooking, and uh, taking a shower. And um, so that's my plan. I am staying in a truck stop tonight with the dogs in the truck. Um, I don't know if you can see there. And um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing, making my way from Texas through New Mexico and Arizona to Nevada, which should take me about three days um, depending on how long I stop along the way um, I don't have to be there in three days so I'm thinking I'm just gonna drive until like maybe three o'clock in the afternoon and then um, if I feel like you know I don't want to stay at a, at a truck stop you know because they do have showers and food and a lounge um, but 
if I want, you know, my own private space and stuff, then I can, uh, you know, stop at a, a motel. And I was thinking to save money because last night I stayed in a motel and it cost me over $100 with the dogs because they charge $20 extra per night for the dogs. Um, so I figure when it's good weather, like it is right now, it's over 50 degrees um, below tonight. Um, then the dogs can just stay in the back of my truck, you know, in the back seat, not in the back, not in the bed. And then, um, and then I can be in the hotel room and that way I don't have to worry about paying that extra $20 and that can help me with, you know, gas and um, food and what other expenses I might have. Um, so that's the plan for now. And uh, so then in the yeah afternoons, then I'll be dedicating that time to uh, keeping up with my wellness ministry business. So the YouTube channel and consulting with people one-on-one -on -one over the phone or Zoom if need be. And so if you have any or anyone you know has any wellness needs, questions, um, wants to know about alternative options, then please um, reach out to me either in a comment to this video or um, through my other uh, website, the bit.ly bit slash Aloha Jedi which is always in the description of my videos and uh, so I look forward to seeing uh, your comments and I am rededicating myself to uh, checking or working on uh, my wellness ministry and YouTube channel every day uh, for at least a couple hours so Thinking if I stop at three, then that gives me a couple hours uh, before I need to feed the dogs and myself, and and uh, you know, like wrap it up for the night. And uh, and then if I need to like make any phone calls in the afternoon, I mean in the evening after dinner for people that may be working during the day, then I have that time too. So. So that's the plan, and I'm going to just focus on driving and doing the, the wellness ministry uh, in the later part of the day. And while I'm driving, I can talk to people as well over the phone. And uh, if I set up my, my uh, phone holder, uh, I might even record some videos while I'm driving. So going to make the most of this time and uh, so let me know if you have any suggestions or concerns that I should consider um, I would appreciate it and uh, I'm also thinking about doing a zoom um, on, like once a week uh, at a set time so that uh, anyone that does want to interact uh, that way instead of through comments and whatnot so let me know if you're interested in that then I will set that up uh, need to get some input as to day and time oh there goes my dome light so mahalo for watching see you next time